Hi guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you how Malaysian MRT works. Uh, Malaysian train systems, MRT is uh, for mass rapid transit. Uh, that's one of the latest train systems that they constructed in Malaysia. So today I'm going to be using the MRT and then I'm going to show you basically how it works and how you can use it if you, if you come to Malaysia. That's uh, one of the easiest and cheapest and fastest way of transport here in Malaysia. So I'm going to be using the MRT to go to KL where I'll be doing my video shoot today. I'll be showing you how it works. So whenever you come to Malaysia, especially in this uh, Klang Valley area, you can be able to assess it. So in order to use the MRT system, you have to have your touch and go card. They use the touch and go card to assess the MRT system and it's something like this. So whenever you come to Malaysia, you have to purchase the card. I talked about it in my previous video about driving in Malaysia. So if you're driving in Malaysia or you're using the public transport, you have to have this card. They use it for toll payment and they use it for public transport systems also. So if you purchase the card, you can be able to top it off and you can be able to use it. Okay, the train station is open. We can be able to use it. So I'm going to use the touch and go card to access the train. I'm going towards Kuala Lumpur, the central city. So I will show you how you can use it. First of all, this is the entrance gate and all you have to do is touch your card here. It, it will withdraw it from the card. This is the station. You can, if you are at the station, you can use the lift to go up to the train or you can, you can use the escalator also, whichever one is more convenient for you. But I usually use the escalator, so I'm using the escalator today. And this is the view. The train is up there. It's a little bit noisy, so you might not be able to hear me clearly. But my, my microphone has noise cancellation. So it's still going to try its best to cancel the noise. And we have Bukidukung Station. So when you come up for the platform here, you should be able to see this uh, sign book. It's kind, it shows you uh, the stations. It shows you the time of arrival of the train and the time you might be leaving, the estimated time of arrival. Uh, this is where you will see it. So the first train, the first train is arriving at one minute, and if you miss that train, you have to wait for another ten minutes. And if you miss the ten minutes one, you have to wait for another nineteen minutes. So that's about three three cars on this uh, rail line. So the first one is zero minutes, which means it's uh, almost arriving, and this is it coming from there. This is the train that we'll be using to proceed to KL. So this is the train. You have to wait behind this yellow line whenever you are using the train. And you wait for the door to open. Once the door opens, you can proceed inside. The train is a bit full today, it's Chinese day, so there's a, a lot of people going out. And a lot of people already traveled also. So sometimes it gets very, very full because of people coming back from work, as you can see. So there's a, quite a lot of people on the train. But during uh, rush hour, during work time, when people are coming back from work, there's, uh, there's more people, the train is usually very, very full and packed. So you have to struggle to find space. But not as packed as the Japanese station. 
So you can always see the next station there. That's uh, where you see next station and where you'll be stopping. It shows all the stations and uh, where you need to stop. So you, if you're new and you don't know how to navigate, you make sure you use the navigation board. That's where you can be able to see uh, which station you'll be stopping. So I'm going to KL today, so I think I'll be, um, I think I'll be stopping at uh, Museum Nagar. Yeah, from there we can, or we will be stopping at uh, Bukit Bintang. From there we can proceed to Pavilion, where we'll be shooting our video today. So that uh, this train has about four coaches, so there's enough space to contain everybody if you are using it. A lot of the time you come during rush hour and peak hour. There's always enough time to contain everyone. So I'm standing. Uh, most of the seats are already occupied, so I have to stand. And usually, if you want to stand, you have to hold something so you don't fall. But sometimes it turns, shakes a bit when it's uh, having a, a very serious turn. So you have to hold something so you don't trip over. I think we have about five or six more stations before we reach our final destination. Okay, guys, we're about to arrive at our station. Uh, we'll be dropping at this station to keep in time. After that, we'll be proceeding to Pavilion for, for the video shoot. We've uh, just exited the train and I'm just going to proceed to Pavilion. Oh, there's a lot of people today. Today is supposed to be a public holiday in Malaysia, but I think not very much people travel. And this escalator is very, very long. I don't know if it's the highest, the longest in uh, this MRT station. I think this is the, the longest. I've shown you guys how to check in on the MRT station, how to use your touch and go card to assess the train station. Uh, the first one we did was check in and we're going to be doing the second one, which is check out. I'm going to show you also the same card you use to check in. That's the same card you're going to use to check out and then, then it will deduct the amount from your card bar. So um, this is the exit gates and what we need to do is scan the card here so it will deduct it from the card balance and then we can proceed to exit so i've uh, i've successfully exited the the mrt station and there's one thing more one more thing i have to show you guys there's also a token machine in case if you don't have the card in case if you don't want to use the card there's a token machine here. You can buy the token from this machine to whichever station you're going to. All the stations are listed here. You can buy the token from this machine or you can top up your touch and go card, uh, that machine there. In case your touch and go balance is low, you can top up the card at that machine. So there's uh, two options for you that you can use. In case uh, whichever one that is more convenient for you, you can use. So, um, we're proceeding to Jalan Bukit Bintang. Yeah, I think, I think so. Uh, Bukit Bintang. I think that's where I'll be exiting to Pavilion. And then we can proceed to shoot the video for today. There's also an ATM machine here or a dispenser mach machine if you want to buy any beverages or snacks it's over there and the atm machine is there also for your convenience in case if you want to withdraw any cash so there's uh there's also a convenience store here also in some of the stations there are my news or some other convenience stores that you can use for for your convenience so guys that's uh pavilion over there that's where we'll be shooting the video for today the road is uh quite busy today more than what i expected because today is a chinese new year holiday so a lot of people traveled but uh there's still a lot KL has a lot of people K 
Okay, it has millions of people. So no matter what is the holiday, there's still going to be a lot of people here. And some people also come into care of for this holiday. And this holiday is going to last from today until tomorrow. Tomorrow also is a public holiday. And then after that, people have to go back to work. That's where we'll be shooting the video for today. So guys, I've uh, basically shown you guys how to use the MRT. It's uh, very easy to access and also very convenient and very fast. There's nothing like a traffic jam or anything like that. So, if you're coming to K KL, especially KL is very populated and there's always traffic problem. So, if you're more, if you're comfortable, it's more preferable for you to use the MRT, the public uh, transport system. It will help you to get to KL very faster. And whichever place you drop, you can use the bus system inside the KL city there's a free bus system that you can always access so it goes around the major places in KL for free it's uh, usually the color is usually uh, purple pink and green so if you see any purple pink and green bus in KL it's usually free you can enter it and go to wherever you want to go in KL for free without paying anything so you have to read properly make sure you see where it's written free on the bus before you enter so but even the normal ones that you have to pay still not expensive just if you ring it so that it's very easy for you to get around in KL here so guys I think uh, we'll be proceeding to start the video shortly so that's all for this video guys thank you for uh, watching do remember to subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you again bye bye